Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Do-It-Yourself Plumbing with Tom. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a Bemis church toilet seat. Uh, the tools required for this job are going to be need latex gloves. Like I say, as always, whenever you're doing anything with plumbing, you always have latex gloves just to protect yourself. Uh, you are going to need a set of channel locks, a razor blade, and also a flat-headed screwdriver. Um, this is going to be one of the simpler jobs that you do as far as plumbing related because obviously you don't have to do anything with the water. So you can't have any leaks. I took the liberty before the video of opening up the box. This is exactly how your toilet seat is going to come packaged from either whatever store you get it from online or from a big box store. Um, we actually get ours from a plumbing supply house in the area, but every single toilet we install for a customer always has this kind of toilet seat. Um, and the reason that we choose it is because of the bracketing system that they use to install the seat um, and because anybody that's ever cleaned a bathroom knows the hardest pot spot to clean on a bathroom whether it be anywhere in the bathroom itself is always the back bracket of a toilet seat because urine and well feces stains and everything sit behind there unless you break out q-tips or something like that you're never going to be able to get into the cracks of it well Bemis came out with a system a few years ago where the brackets sit in the toilet and you can actually pull the whole toilet seat off but the brackets stay right inside the bowl. So what that essentially does for you is it makes it a lot easier to clean because all you have to do is clean around these brackets. Um, so to start out with installing the toilet seat, we're just gonna take the brackets out of the bag and we're gonna mount our bracket and then we'll mount our toilet seat to the bowl itself. Um, the, brack the, the brackets are pretty simple. The bolt goes down through the bowl and then the nut just spins up from the bottom. And all we're gonna be doing is just tightening this nut all the way up to the bottom of the toilet bowl. So what we'll do, we'll start out with the left side here. I'll set this bracket down. I like to use a flathead screwdriver. Obviously you can use a bunch of different screwdrivers. I use a bigger one because it fits into the groove and it gives me a little bit more torque with my wrist. So with my left hand, I'm just gonna reach down and this, I just put this on the bolt just lightly and then I'll just spin this bolt until I get the nut in place. Sometimes it takes you a little bit to get the nut to start threading onto the bolt itself. Um, but once you get that, you just keep spinning it um, and you'll have a little bit of play, but like I said, with my left hand, I just keep on it just to uh, pull down just a little bit, just to keep it in place, just until I can get it fully screw drive till it has a little tension on it. Um, so I'm about halfway through. It takes you a little bit. You're gonna have a tired wrist, but I'm getting pretty close now. Um, and I'm just holding that little wing knot on the side of the nut. I'm just holding that with my fingers just to keep it in place. And then the actual screwdriver is going to tighten it up from the top. Instead of the old system where you used to have the channel locks on the bottom and you're, you're trying to twist and it's upside down and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I got this one nice and tight. Uh, don't be afraid to uh, kind of warp the plastic a little bit. This isn't gonna show, so it's not that big of a concern. Um, so I got that tightened down almost to the bottom. Um, and what I'll do is I'll take my channel locks and this just tightens it up just a touch more. I'll put it on and I'm gonna hold it just with my left hand and I'm just gonna give that just a little bit of a snug clockwise. Um, and what that'll do over time, every single toilet seat on the market always loosens up. This will just tighten it down so that, you know what, this won't loosen up because I got just a little bit of a wrench on it. Um, with plastic, as in all videos, you wanna be just just a little bit of a turn. You don't want to over torque it because it is plastic and it doesn't have the greatest material. So this side over here, it's going to be the exact opposite. You're going to hold it with your right hand on the bottom of the bolt. And I am right handed. So this one's a little bit more awkward, but I'm just holding that wing nut on the bottom of the toilet and spinning this down. But this is a quick, simple five minute fix that you won't have to pay a plumber a couple hundred bucks to have done, um, and you'll be able to do yourself. Um, if you have any questions, 
about different styles or anything like that, just leave it down in the comment section and I'll try to answer you guys back. Okay, so I got that one snug pretty good. So I'm gonna take the channel locks just like I did last time. And I am going to just snug it down just a touch. All right, guys. So this is what I mean about the cleaning feature itself. So now instead of cleaning around the whole bracket that with the toilet seat, it's still mounted to the toilet so you can't really get tight in the back. Now you can pop that toilet seat right off and just clean around these. Um, and what I mean about popping the toilet seat off is Bemis has a nice setup. All there is is just a unlock and a lock. So if you're all the way to the left, it's unlocked. The seat will just pop right onto those brackets and then you just lock the seat on. Lock the seat on. Um, and then like I was saying for the cleaning feature, to the left, to the left, unlock. You just give it just a little bit of a lock and you pop it right off, you clean it right back up. When you're done cleaning, you pop it right back on. The reason why we install these type of toilet seats is because every single Bema seat is universal like this where they keep the brackets. So when we have to change out a toilet seat for a customer, all we have to do is unlock it, unlock it, pop it off, brackets stay right inside the toilet bowl, pop a new seat on, we're all set. Guys, that is how you